More than a decade back, I opened my first AWS FreeTier account in 2011. Next day, I closed it after incurring some charges. I was new, I was worried. After all, nobody wants to be in this situation. But hands-on is a must for learning AWS well. Next month, I found a workaround and opened an AWS account again and learned a lot without fear. I'm going to share the same here. There are two layers of defense that we can use. First, AWS budget and billing alarm, which I'll talk about in another video. Second, open an AWS account without any real credit card. Yes, you have heard it correctly. No real credit card. But please do not exploit this. AWS is already generous. Let's start. Search create AWS account in Google and open the link that says sign up for a free AWS account. In the free tier offering, you will find services that come in three categories, always free, 12 months free, or free trials. Click the big orange create a free account button to start the signing up process. Provide your email ID and account name of your choice. Click the verify email address button. Verification code will be sent to your inbox. So open your verification email. Copy the code and paste it in the sign up form. Click verify. Now your email address has been verified. Set a very complex password for the root account. Click continue. As we all use this account for personal learning purposes, let's choose personal radio button. Field name, phone and address field details. Read the AWS customer agreement. Select the checkbox if you agree and click continue. Now the most scary page for beginners, credit card information. A small amount will be held temporarily to validate the card. Later. The same card will be charged based on your usage. As I mentioned at the beginning, I'm not going to use any real credit card. Instead, I will use a virtual credit card. Other cloud providers do not allow prepaid or virtual cards, but AWS is wise, it does. In this demo, I will use my favorite Koho virtual credit card. I use virtual credit cards for point of sale or online transactions where I do not feel 100% safe to do so. It comes with two cards, one physical and one virtual card. We can instantly lock or unlock both cards using the app. Fill up the billing information as per the virtual credit card. Click verify and continue. To confirm your identity, AWS will send verification code to your phone. Choose text message or voice call. Provide your phone number, type the captcha and click send SMS. Check your text message and enter the verification code here. Click continue. As we are getting started with AWS, let's choose basic support free and complete sign up. Congratulations, we have successfully signed up for AWS free tier using a virtual card. Now AWS will send three emails in next few minutes. One welcome email, one AWS basic support sign up confirmation and an email with the subject line, your AWS account is ready, get started now. As soon as we get this account activation email, we are good to start. To verify, open the AWS Management Console, provide root user's email and password to login, and we have successfully landed in the console home. Happy learning. During my AWS 10X certification, I learned a lot. Here I'll share all those resources that helped me. If you are on the same journey, please consider subscribing to this channel. Thanks for watching.